This is Stone Cold Export, and in today's video, we are going to find out if FSR 2.0 can keep up with DLSS and a few other options. Today, we are testing FSR 2.0 against FSR 1.0, Radeon Image Sharpening with in game resolution scaling, NVIDIA's DLSS technology, and NVIDIA's DLAA technology. The game we are testing in is Farming Simulator 22 because it supports all these technologies, which is great. And I do believe that the best way to make uh, comparisons are head-to-head, -head, so two images on the screen at once, because it's much easier to tell the difference than having four images at once, in my opinion, anyway. So that is what we will do right now. This is our first head-to-head -head com uh, comparison. One of these are native image quality with TAA, and the other is NVIDIA DLAA. Can you tell which is which? Of course, the performance numbers might give it away, but I'm gonna give you the answer in just a second. So, on the left hand here, we have the native image quality on, and on the right hand is with NVIDIA's DLAA technology on. And DLAA does uh, require a bit more GPU power than native with TAA, but it also does deliver a bit better image quality, in my opinion. There is a lot less fl flickering of sort of thin lines and stuff like that with DLAA on, and uh, I'm sure it's not perfect and you'll probably find some errors in in a couple of situations, but I have yet to find any. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, here's our next comparison. I won't tell you which is which, but one of these are FSR 2.0, and the other is DLAA, which you saw just a moment ago. Can you tell which is which? Here we have AMD FSR on the left side, and NVIDIA's DLAA on the right. Now. Uh, DLAA does look a bit better, but uh, because FSR still suffers from the flickering that uh, the native TAA implementation also does, we can see it on the chicken coop here, uh, and um, yeah, DLAA just looks a bit better and a bit more stable, in my opinion, which is why we are comparing it with DLAA instead of native. Now, let's uh, move on to the next comparison. Okay, here we have two new competitors, I can tell you one of these are uh, FSR 1.0 ultra quality and the other is Radeon image sharpening with 80% uh, uh, in game resolution scaling. So which one do you think looks better? On the left hand we have AMD FSR 1.0 ultra quality and on the right Radeon image sharpening with 80% in game resolution scaling. Uh, the right one does look quite blurry in my opinion and it doesn't look very good. Uh, the FSR one looks a lot better, but it's not exceptional. It's also uh, it, it, it suffers from some of this flickering as uh, FSR 2.0 did as well, and the native resolution. But it does look a lot better than the right one. So let's move on to our next comparison. Here we have FSR 1.0 versus FSR 2.0, but which one is which? Can you tell? I'll give you the answer in just one second. So, FSR 1.0 is on our left side, while FSR 2.0 is on the right. Now, I want you to pay attention to the grill on the tractor, and you can see it flickers a lot more on the FSR 1.0 implementation, and also the netting on the uh, chicken coop uh, is also looks a lot worse on FSR 1.0 than what it does on 2.0, in my opinion anyway. So 2.0 is a massive increase in, well, a good, decent increase in image quality, but how does it compare to DLSS? Let's find out. So here we have DLSS in quality mode versus FSR 2.0 also in quality mode. I won't tell you which is which just yet, but uh, in my opinion, both of these look pretty good. DLSS is now on the right hand and FSR 2.0 quality is on the left. You can see on the weeder here, these sort of spikes or rakes or whatever you call them, they are a bit better defined with DLSS, but the grill on the tractor looks very good with both of them, very stable, slight flickering on both. But the chicken coop, uh, that's where the biggest difference is. So the netting or the grill on sort of the back end of the chicken coop is handled a lot better 
uh, with DLSS compared to FSR 2.0, which sort of messes it up when you when I turn around. Even so, image quality is pretty good with both FSR 2.0 and DLSS. Which brings us to our next comparison, which is the next new scene, but with the same DLSS versus FSR 2.0. You can see on the chicken coop, which is quite far away, that FSR is struggling with some flickering, which is not uh, present on DLSS. And as we get closer, you can see how FSR sort of messes up the netting. Uh, DLSS also does the same, but to a lesser degree. So now let's take a look at some of the other uh, upscaling solutions compared to this. Next up is FSR 1.0 versus FSR 2.0. And they both kind of struggle with the same thing. So both of them have some flickering and they do struggle with the, the netting on the chicken coop. You can see that when we slow it down that yeah, they're both struggling a bit. FSR 2.0 has improved upon it, but uh, it's not much in it really. So instead, let's move on to native versus DLAA. Okay, so here we have native versus DLAA and well, personally, both of these look very good. I can't really, I think I prefer the DLAA image, but there's not a lot in it. I do think it handles the netting a bit better than the native does. Uh, but you do also take a performance hit. So if you have the power, use DLAA. If you don't have the GPU power, use native or DLSS or FSR 2.0. Again, we have DLAA versus native and both of these looks very good, exceptionally good. Uh, I can't really fault either of them. There's some ghosting around the bar on the rear of the harvester where the straw comes out, but it's not really too bad and it's not annoying, so it's fine. So uh, yeah, let's just take a look inside the harvester and see if we can tell uh, spot any differences uh, in there. There's not really any major differences inside the harvester either. The screen appears to be a bit sharper on the DLAA image so let's just zoom in on that and see if that's the case right so we're zoomed in 2.5 times I have a very hard time telling the difference uh, maybe the uh, DLAA image is a very small bit sharper but there's really not a lot in it and probably not worth the performance penalty so uh, yeah let's move on to our next comparison here we have Radeon Image Sharpening with 80% resolution scale on the left and FSR Ultra Quality on the right. So the first thing that sticks out to me is that the Radeon Image Sharpening picture looks or image looks blurry. It's a lot more blurry than the FSR image. Uh, on the other hand, it has less ghosting around the uh, bar where the straw comes out on the rear of the harvester compared to the FSR, which seems to be a bit worse than native and DLAA. Uh, but yeah, the, the RIS uh, or radial image sharpening uh, image is a lot more blurry. Now let's take a look inside the harvester. Again, the radial image sharpening uh, image looks a bit more blurry compared to FSR with ultra quality. Uh, if you take a look above the screen on the sort of black dots on the windshield, uh, it's uh, some of those dots are sort of missing uh, on the radon image sharpening photo. So remember, there's some detail missing there. It looks a lot better on the radon image uh, on the uh, for FSR uh, image. Now let's uh, zoom in on the screen and see which one can give us the best text. So the screen is barely readable with radon image sharpening and 80% resolution scaling. And the FSR one is a bit better, but it's not really great either. Both of these are a lot worse compared to the native and the LAA. The next one here is FSR 2.0 versus FSR 1.0. Uh, ultra quality on 1.0 and quality on uh, 2.0. And uh, yeah, so the thing that sticks out here immediately is the ghosting on the FSR 2.0 image behind the bar on the harvester where the straw comes out. That's actually pretty bad and pretty distracting when you're playing, in my opinion anyway. So that is, uh, yeah, I hope they do th fix that, I'm sure they can, but uh, it's quite distracting and kind of takes away from the rest of the image, even though the rest of the image looks fine. Now let's take a look inside the harvester. Inside the harvester we can see that the screen uh, with FSR 2.0 is a lot uh, more readable 
and better defined. And the same thing goes for the black dots on the windscreen, they also look a lot better with FSR 2.0 compared to 1.0. Zooming in on the screen, we can confirm that the 2.0 image is quite a bit sharper than the 1.0 image. But I'm not sure it's quite as sharp as the DLA or native image, but we'll take a look at that a bit later on. Next up is FSR 2.0 versus DLSS. DLSS quality on the right and FSR 2.0 quality on the left. And image quality here looks pretty similar. Uh, again, FSR 2.0 struggles with the ghosting around the uh, bar on the rear of the harvester. And DLSS also has quite a bit of ghosting here. Not, not as bad as FSR 2.0. But I do think it's a bit worse than compared to DLAA or native. Now let's take a look inside the harvester to see if we can spot any differences there. If you take a look at the yellow stickers on the right hand side of the windscreen you can see that the black uh, bar on the edges has some ghosting on the FSR 2.0 image. If you take a look on the DLSS image on the black dots around the windscreen behind the header you can see some bad uh, distortion there or something that looks a lot better on FSR 2.0. Now let's zoom in on that screen. Zooming in on the screen, it might look a tad sharper than FSR 2.0, but yeah, they are very similar, apart from the distortion on DLSS. Comparing FSR 2.0 to DLAA and, well, DLAA doesn't have the ghosting around the yellow stickers, but if we zoom in on the screen, we can see that FSR 2.0 actually managed to keep up with the sharpness from DLAA in my opinion. They actually look very similar. Here we can see the screen from another angle and uh, the FSR 2.0 image it's very close to the sharpness of the DLAA image so again a very good job. So AMD's FSR 2.0 looks pretty promising. The image quality was very comparable to DLSS. I mean, DLSS had a bit less flickering uh, and FSR 2.0 had a bit of a ghosting issue, which I hope they can uh, improve on in the future. Uh, and But even so, you know, DLSS wasn't without its issues either. The dots be on the windscreen that was behind the header, there was some pretty heavy distortion there and that wasn't uh, present on the FSR 2.0 image. But of course the FSR 2.0 image struggled with some ghosting and there was a bit more flickering compared to DLSS. So, but I, I still think what AMD has done is pretty impressive because they have done this without any requirement of onboard hardware. You don't need any tensor cores or stuff like that. And I do think that's pretty impressive and that they should be applauded for that. Because this is also an open standard so you can, you know, use this on an NVIDIA GPU, you can use this on an Intel GPU, integrated GPU or an AMD GPU, doesn't really matter. Uh, and that's, that's a plus point for FSR, in my opinion. And they have made pretty good headway compared to FSR 1.0. The 1.0 image is okay, but it didn't look as good as DLSS, and DLSS was a market improvement upon uh, compared to FSR 1.0. But 2.0 changes that, and that's very good. RSR I did not test because, well, RSR is a bit... Uh, the thing about RSR, if you are going to make comparisons such as these, you need a capture card. Uh, all these uh, recordings are done on the machine, uh, not with a capture card, because I only have a capture card that supports 1080p. And I didn't want to do this test at 1080p, because you probably don't need this technology at 1080p. You probably have a GPU that's powerful enough to push, uh, especially this game, at the required frame rate. Uh, but uh, that might not be the case at 1440p and that's probably not the case at uh, 4k but i didn't test 4k because 4k it's sort of the best case scenario for these technologies because they have so many pictures pixels to work with from the beginning you know you start at 1440p uh, but if you are using these technologies at 1440p you are usually starting at uh, 1080p or below i think most of these are below 1080p renders that are then upscaled to 1440p and that's pretty impressive. Now, I wanted to see what they were able to do at that resolution. Uh, but yeah, FSR looks pretty good, very promising. And uh, I really hope we can see more of it in the future. I'll, it will be interesting to see uh, the adoption rate of FSR 2.0. There's not a lot of games that support it yet, but hopefully there will be more in the future. And that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, check out uh, the channel for more content coming out soon. There will be some AM4 content. We are sort of saying goodbye to AM4 by doing some builds and stuff with AM4. And uh, yeah, 
check back for that. And that's pretty much it for me. Thank you. Goodbye.